In addition to elapsed time measurements from the beginning of the file, the browser can calculate and display an elapsed time for any two randomly selected waveform points within a file. For example, let's position the cursor on an arbitrary event on channel 1. We'll anchor this point by selecting from the Options pull-down menu, Enable Time Marker. Near the bottom of the screen, you can see a display has enabled that describes the distance between the cursor and the time marker in seconds. This value is currently zero since the cursor at this point lies directly on top of the time marker. As I move the cursor away from the marker, the marker's position is revealed as a vertical line from the waveform to the bottom of the strip. You can also see that as the distance between the marker and the cursor changes, our display at the bottom of the screen describes the exact distance in seconds. Further, we can reconfigure how this distance is displayed by selecting the Options pull-down menu, then select Marker Display. We can specify a distance value in time, samples, hertz, or cycles per minute.